Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Today it's World Champs Day here in beautiful Val di Fassa. Uh, the sky is somewhat clear, um, but apparently there won't be any snow or rain today. Um, yesterday we had practice. I just packed all of my stuff that I need to bring with me. So I have waterproof socks, Frank Brothers tool, helmet, goggles, um, I have these doctor gloves to go under the normal gloves to keep my hands nice and warm. I packed a whole lot of stuff in my backpack. I don't know if I can turn on the light a bit better. There's a whole sort of stuff, so extra battery for the shifter, pressure meter, CO2 can, battery for the derailleur, extra gloves for if I fall. Jacket, I have some overshoes for to go over the shoes so my feet stay nice and warm. And then <coughs> going outside, got Henry over there checking his bike. DJ Paul trying to not freeze in the cold temperatures. <laughs> um, so it's, it's not too bad yesterday. So got number 40 for this weekend. Um, with all the stickers marked on the wheels and the frame and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going with Magic's front and rear. And um, yeah, this is like my stack height. So it's fairly low because um, the trails here are not that steep. Um, I've got my old hand guards on because I broke one of them yesterday. So I had a pretty big crash yesterday, um, which my shoulder is definitely feeling a bit sore after that. Um, but it is what it is. I think we can make it make it through. Um, maybe I uh, won't feel my legs as much. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna do some activations now for my shoulders and stuff like that. And then we're going out for rollout. So let's see what happens today. So just made it to the rollout. This is the rollout. And it's also the end of the last stage. Um, yeah, it's go time. I just did a couple of warm-up sprints and stuff like that. And the shoulder feels good. So, um, yeah, looking forward to going on the run, but it feels pretty, pretty nice. So I'm stoked. We have Tristan Bottram here from the Netherlands. Are you the man that had the hand guards on? So yesterday, this man was very clever. The cleverest man on the hill. He had some gaffer tape and he had it here to keep his hands warm. So, just had the roll out. Now, big pedal to the gondola. And then we have gondola up to stage one. So, not much pedaling for the first one. So, one of the things that I forgot to mention is that all of the riding footage is from practice, not from the race, because I'm not allowed to ride with the GoPro yet. Here we go then. Stage one. Just pedaled from the rollout now in the gondola. So yeah, um, it's not as cold as yesterday, but it's also not much warmer. Um, you can see a little bit of the track over there. And then you can see here. We're gone at the end. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. Um, yeah, so now going up for stage one, it's like, six to eight minute track i would say um quite steep and a lot of braking um so yeah we'll see how it goes pay attention here yeah thank you let's go
Oh. Hello. So, stage one done. Just had the gondola and now paddling up to stage two. A little more snow over here. Uh, not the best stage. A little tumble at the end, just before the rock garden. But all in all, not the worst start of the day. I think you just got to pick up some speed on those next stages. So we carry on. Hello. Hi. Good. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Nice. That's the line. The root line was the best, eh? So I forgot to do an update on stage two. Um, I was slightly upset. You can probably understand why. Later down, halfway of the track, very like shitty place. So yeah, I was quite over it at that point um, I'm happy I just continued my shoulder is doing all right luckily I didn't really fell on that one um, so yeah stage two it was fun to ride hard to race threw it away and another not so good result but it is what it is good let's go Watch out. Thank you, mate. Whoa! Oh my god. the road to say oh we're down here okay now we're going to do something else so stage three done and dusted or not so much dusted actually just settling up to stage four now this was one of the most physical stages of the race together with the one that's coming up look at that beautiful view got to show that on the vlog um, so yeah this was one of the better ones um, yeah my legs felt very good so I was, I'm kind of happy with that that's a positive to take from the day other than that, uh, yeah, I don't know what the result are, but probably not so good, but we're just now uh, just riding for fun and that's it. So yeah, uh, stage four now, 
Not a physical one. Let's see what happens. You can stop? Let's go. Meine Eisglecke hier. So, stage four done. Just rolling into technical assistance zone, which for me means lovely campsite. Uh, stage four was fairly okay. My legs were very strong, which is a big positive my hard work definitely pays off on the on the pedals but uh, still my arms blew up quite a bit um, not sure about the result but um, yeah um, not too bad so here we are the tech zone luckily I didn't destroy anything so it's not much work to do So, pedaling up to the last stage, just behind the man, Glenn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this one should be so long, only like 200, 300 height meters down. Lots of pedaling though, so we'll be using the legs for sure. Looks like it dried up a lot, so we'll be in, go in for a good one. So I'll try to finish strong now and let's see where we end up at the end so yeah let's get it ready yep. yeah boy good luck thank you Race just got done. Last stage was super physical. 
Hello. Um, yeah, finished off pretty strong, I hope. Not sure about the result yet, but we'll find out in a moment. So, we just finished the race. The girls are just finishing up. It's Hattie currently in the lead, but uh, there's still quite a lot of rides to go. Um, so yeah, after this we'll unfortunately have to leave already to go home, so I'm not sure. Oh, this is this is not looking too bad for Hattie at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're not going to wait until the final result, but I'll check in with you guys once we are on the road. Um, what result was again? So yeah. So we are already in the car, driving back to home. Big night shift for us coming up. Um, but I got some pretty good news to share. That um, here's the results. So Alex Rudeau won. Louis Jondel second. Richie got third. And then I got with all of the problems and well i was very close to giving up after the dead second stage it was it was i was not having it and um yeah i was not having fun at all but thanks to my man manu um fellow dutchman who was unfortunately injured but he gave me some very good tips to just smash on the climbs and then have fun on the rest of the track and it seemed like it paid off because uh, i got 39th in the third stage 33 in the fourth and on the last one I got 22nd so finishing off with a bang and that means I just slid inside the top 40 with 39 as a result uh, my man Baptiste Baptiste sorry I should say it right because otherwise he's gonna comment um, got just beat me in 38 um, so all now I'm quite happy with where I'm at especially knowing how many troubles I had today um, so yeah looking back if I wouldn't have the problems I'd be close to top 30 um, with all the juniors now racing in the elites um, it's not a bad bad result I would say so yeah that's it for the Kanazai Faldi Fasa World Champ vlog Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end, even though I was pretty upset at some point. Um, so yeah, thank you to the very good organizers here for putting on such a good race. So that's it over and out. Now we're gonna do a big drive. So thanks for watching and see you next year. Ciao, ciao.